this video play walkthrough. We're here in Hyattsville, Maryland. The property number is 6212 41st Avenue. So what we usually do when we come around this property, uh, hoping you can hear me well, is that we're gonna go, we're gonna do the outside first. So follow me. And I wanted to thank Milan for filming here, for filming the show. So the front is pretty much in good condition. Right, so this is the outside. A fairly big corner backyard. Come along here. We can see that this needs to be taken care of. So the shed is probably a little bit especially the roof because it's all gonna be Let's go in. Holding on the door. So this is my first time walking through this property. All right. If you want to know the smell, this is actually a good smell. It, it, it doesn't smell humidity. It doesn't smell dogs, pets, black mold, and this kind of thing. Of course, there's debris, so clean up to do. Um, I like to go here, and it's like an overview. So you come. We knew from outside that the windows were kind of okay, but you can always come and test some of them and see. Yes, so windows have been changed. So those are not the original windows of the house. And uh, so small kitchen. And then here you can see. There's probably water damage, or is it maybe it's just the plaster coming up from the ceiling? We'll see. It doesn't look like water. We'll see. So here in the hall, the configuration. You know, we're probably gonna reconfigure it. So we have one bedroom here. It's carpet. Maybe with wood underneath, and if it's wood, that's a good thing. It stays in good condition because the carpet must have protected it. The bathroom, bathroom is actually, you know, it it will have to be changed for a rehab. Again, on the ceiling, and here you can see the ceiling is a little bit low over over this part of the house. Like if I can touch it, this is low. This is too low. I'm wondering why that was over here. It's high. Another bedroom. Okay, so small bedroom. It seems 
pretty okay. So we have one, two. So we're gonna go upstairs. Carpet. It's clean. Upstairs has been vacuumed. So one small bedroom here. You can see there's maybe central unit. There's over here. A little bit of plaster here and there. Good size. Storage. Oh a bathroom upstairs. That's good. And this is actually a good size in good condition. Bath over here. Um, there's a SC, SC unit here on the top, which tells me that probably the HVAC must not be efficient to push the cold air on the attic on this floor. So we're gonna go down. Well, next, we're so we're back in the kitchen. This is a small kitchen. We're gonna go in the basement. Um, low light. Can we? I think you can see my thing. Okay, maple. Maple. Yeah. Sorry. Basement is a good height, so it's a finished basement here. It smells a lot of humidity, and you can see there's a little bit of a close-up on the wall. Yeah. Looks like there's a mold coming here. Oh, utility room. Utility room. Definitely some water. Humidity or like the air is not circulating well. You can see the heat. The AC unit, if you want to look at it. So it's it's still in good condition. So We'll have to uh, service it at all and also test to see if it's able to give, give the cold air to the top floor because of the AC unit that we saw earlier. So we're going to come into, oh, there's an extra full room here. I don't think it, this one can't count as a bedroom because oh, it has lots of mold that you can see on the chair here. Um, because the window is too small. It's supposed to be, if you want it as a room, you have to pave it so that you can actually come out. So it is ultra moldy. Like, can you look at the door? So don't touch the door. You can see like there's mold growing. I don't like mold. So it's either, I'm trying to see there weren't any cracks visible from the outside. But there's definitely water coming in uh, here at the corner of the house. We can see that there's a little bit of water coming in because the boxes have been wet. Yeah, there's been water damage somewhere. And here. So with all houses like this, you can have this type of like water seeping through the the foundation just because it's it's old. So to remediate that, you'll have to uh, to waterproof the walls and uh, do, make like insulation and all to make it waterproof. Again here, yeah, that was the same thing. Yeah, so my guess, and this, so you make a first walk through, and it gives you an idea of how the property is. Let's go upstairs, pause. The return thing here. So I'm so looking at the carpet the here because like I wanted to make sure that I do. And yeah, underneath the cladding, ta da! We have a beautiful hardwood floor, and this is probably for the rest of the of this floor also, and maybe the second floor also, but this is good, good condition, so it saves you on the budget on the floors. And so when you are in this type of property, 
at least us, what we like to think is you want to remove the unnecessary wall, like this wall, this kind of hole here that doesn't do anything. Um, the storage space could be taken up uh, in order to give the kitchen a bit more room. We might even close that window over there so that we can reconfigure it the kitchen. So we might sacrifice the side window. So we try as much as possible not to close the front windows because front windows are, it's like the style of the house, right? It's the eyes of the house so you don't touch the front windows. But on the side, you can always um, remove those ones. So just make sure that um, this is there. So thank you. And we will go through the repair estimators line by line in the, with the, um, Building sheet that we have. So 